Okay, good afternoon everyone. Can you hear me? Can. Okay, how many of you take, uh, as, uh, take chemistry in English? How many in English? Oh, okay. How many in BM? Okay, so I will try and do dual language as much as I can. Okay, but Kimia is not maths lah, okay? It's not much, not, not much to do dual language. I will try my best. Okay, alright, everybody has their notes. Yes, okay. So, uh, just now, uh, our host said 18 years. That was like a few years ago, now 20 over years already. I'm older already. <laughs> okay, so, uh, first of all, everybody has calculator. Everybody has calculator? Yes, ah, huh? calculator. Okay, kita terus mula dengan pengiraan. We jump straight into the calculation because I know everybody just finished lunch, very sleepy. We jump straight into the calculation questions. Okay, so look at page, uh, page two. Okay, I want to look at page two. I think. Okay. Yeah, I have to do this. You know, it keeps moving. Yeah. Okay. Now, untuk kimia for chemistry tak banyak formula. Okay, there's only a few formulas. I don't like to use the word memorize, memorize, memorize. Hafal, hafal, hafal. Cikgu aja saya hafal saja. No, I don't like to use the word memorize. But some things. There's no other word you have to memorize, right? Okay, so what are the three main formulas? Okay, amount of moles, bilangan mole, mass over molar mass, MV over 1000, and volume over molar volume. Okay, ini musti, musti, musti hafal. You haven't memorized, you memorize today. You have to. Okay, now mass over molar mass, it's for solid, liquid, or gas. Okay, asalkan they give you mass. They give you gcm, you must use gcm over GC mola. MV over 1000 is only for aqueous solution. Volume over molar volume is only for gas. Okay, now, dalam SPM, semasa pengiraan, persamaan kimia tidak diberi. When you have questions on calculations, they don't give you equation. So, if your equation is wrong, everything wrong lah. Okay, so, persamaan kimia must be balanced. Okay, let's straight away jump to it. We jump into one question. Alright, so what are the calculation questions they have? Empirical formula, uh, stoichiometry, okay? Uh, empirical formula is, empirical formula lah, okay? Stoichiometry sounds very big, but it's just nisba, nisba mole, the ratios of mole. Okay, let's look at question four. Everybody look at question four, okay? Alright, <clears throat> 4.16 grams of element Y reacts with 1.92 grams of oxygen to form metal oxide. Okay, metal oxide, W. The empirical formula is W2O3. What is the relative atomic mass? All right, so every time you have a question like this, untuk soalan formula empiric, selalu buat jadual. Just make a table. Very, very simple table. Teacher, this one objective question, what for I make table? So that you know you don't count it wrongly. So you put your elements here, W and O. Then you put your mass, how many grams. Okay, so it's given in the question. W is, don't put 4.16. It's not 4.16. Okay? It reacts to form a metal oxide. So you have to calculate properly. The question is not asking you the mass. The question is asking you what is the molar mass. So, do you have the ratio? Yes. There. W2O3. 2 to 3. 4.16, 1.92. Okay? Over what? Don't know? That's what you're looking for. Over 16. Okay? Okay, now, 
every time after exam, what is your biggest problem? A, oh no, why I didn't see? The favorite phrase my students like to say is, ya ho, ya ha, how come I don't know during exam? Hey, after exam, you ya ho, it's too late already. Okay, so always make sure, double check your calculations. Always double check your calculations. Okay, you don't have the relative atomic mass of X. Okay, GCM atom relative W, sorry, not X, W, T, D, B, R, E. Okay, so you can calculate this. This is 0 0.12. How much is this? Okay, here is where we use ratio, this bar. 0 0.12 is to 3. So, what is the value? How do you count? How do you count this? Okay, so, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> okay, wait, let me move this around. Okay. Try not to touch it. I think it's the wire. It's the wire, is it? Okay, can? Can you get my phone? I, I'm asking you all for calculator. I forgot my calculator. <laughs> Using standing mic, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay, I think we have to change to standing mic because of the feedback, yeah. Okay, oh, much better. Okay, so you're using ratio here, okay? You're using ratio here. Yeah. Oh, okay, thanks. All right, so if this is... Okay, if this is 0 0.12, and the ratio is 3, how do you get it here? How do you count? Yeah, very good. Cross multiplication. Okay, so you will get the answer of here is 0 0.08. So 4.16 over x is 0 0.08. So your x equals to 52. Okay, did you get that? Dapat jawapan tak? Yes? Yes, very good. Okay. No, I think I'll just put it flat. Okay, now, later if we have time, we come back to the other questions of empirical formula. Now I want to do a question where you have to do a calculation. You have to write the equation, and then from your equation, you have to find the calculation. All right, so everyone look at page uh, five. Okay? This one. Okay, selain, selain uh, membuat soalan tahun lepas, in, other than doing past year papers, what is my biggest advice? My biggest advice is read the question. Selalu baca baik-baik. Read the question carefully. Okay, let's all take 30 seconds. Read the question carefully. Circle, circle the important factors here. Circle the important factors. Apakah 
faktor-faktor penting dalam soalan ini. Okay, circle the important factors. What are they asking you? Okay, first thing is 50 gram calcium carbonate. Tuliskan persamaan kimia. Write a chemical equation to show what happens when hydrochloric acid. So, it's calcium carbonate and hydrochloric acid. Okay, that's first thing. Then, calculate the volume of carbon dioxide gas. Hitungkan isi padu gas carbon dioxide. Okay, you got that? First things first, write the equation. Everybody write. Your equation must be balanced. Okay, I give you 30 seconds. Write a balance equation. Do you need to write the state? Do you need to write solid liquid gas? No, tak payah, tak payah. Tak payah tulis pepejal, aqueous, semua tak payah. Kenapa? Soalan tak tanya. They don't ask, don't give, ah, don't volunteer information. Okay? Soalan tak tanya. Alright, sudah? Pastikan persamaan kimia kamu seimbang. Sudah? Everybody done? Who's not done? Who's not done? Okay, I give you 30 more seconds. 10 more seconds. Try, try, try. Pelajar selalu tanya saya, buku rujukan mana paling penting, paling baik? Yang paling baik ialah buku rujukan yang kamu baca. What is the best pasir paper to buy? What is the best question to do? The question that you actually do. Okay, so if you don't do it, you won't know the answer. You have to write it down. Okay, ready? Alright, so first, let's see whether you got it correct. CACL2 Balance the equation. Okay? Berapa maka? Soalan ini lima maka. This is a five mark question. Persamaan kimia ini dua maka. Okay? If your if your bahan tindak balas and uh, product betul, formula betul, you get one mark. Sekiranya seimbang, you get another mark. Okay, so the product and the reactant, one mark. Seimbang, one more mark. Okay, correct or not? You okay. If tak seimbang, how? Wrong already lah. Then how everything else wrong lah. Bit sad lah. Okay, persamaan kimia dalam kimia tak banyak. It's not a lot of equations. Okay, it's just acid and base, acid and carbonate, acid and alkali. And then metal, uh, displacement of metal, few only, tak banyak sangat. Alright? Okay, now first step. And then, okay, let's look at the information. They give you 50 grams of calcium carbonate. So, kira bilangan mol. Mass over molar mass. Okay. This one, they, will, they give you already here. Okay. Okay, what is the molar mass of calcium carbonate? So calcium carbonate, calcium is 40, carbon is 12, oxygen is 16 times 3, 100. So you get 0 0.5 mole. Sedangkan, okay? Okay, that's one more mark. So this one, two marks already. This one, one mark. Soalan ini berapa maka? Lima maka. Okay, so you have gotten three marks so far. Can, can, got it, got it. Okay, what is the question asking? Soalan tanya kamu apa? Volume of carbon dioxide. Okay, so, now, this is the mark that a lot of students don't get in SPM because they're lazy to write. You have to write lah, you don't write how to get marks. Okay, so this is the third mark, the fourth mark. So this one already two marks lah. This one one, two, three. Mark number four. Okay, so mark number one, number two, number three. One, two, three, four. Okay, this is the mark that ramai pelajar tak dapat. Why? You have to write. Okay, so 
Apakah nisbah mol? So sekarang kamu tahu nisbah satu kepada satu. So nisbah satu mol calcium carbonate kepada satu mol carbon dioxide. So if you have zero point five mol calcium carbonate, you get zero point five mol carbon dioxide. Teacher, this is too stupid. Do I have to write? Yes. Why? Because got marks, so I have to write. Okay. It doesn't matter if it's stupid. You still have to write it. It's something that has marks. Okay, so you have to show. You have to show that you know the nisba. A lot of students straight away miss this, and then you straight away go uh, volume. Okay, you straight away go volume, volume, carbon dioxide, and students like to write. Wah, like like they're doing like they're doing some some amazing calculations like that. They like to do like that. Zero point five times twenty four. Oh, I got the answer. Yes, you get the answer. But I need to know you know the answer. I need to know you know how you got the answer. Okay, so this one volume isi padu carbon dioxide ialah bilangan mol darab dengan uh, isi padu mola mola volume. Okay, mola volume is twenty four. Kena hafal tak? Tapi ya diberi dalam soalan deh. They give you what deh? Twenty four decimeter cube. Okay, mesti ada unit. Alright, don't forget your unit. Mesti ada unit. Semasa kamu uh, menduduki peperiksaan sejarah, bahasa, okay, bahasa Melayu, bahasa English, okay, what happens after your exam? Your hand very tired, right? Uh, chemistry not like that. Chemistry don't write so much, don't talk so much. Nobody wants to read. You have to be straight to the point. Okay, this is five marks. Lima maka, banyak tak? Tak banyak, tetapi yang kamu tulis mesti betul. Okay? I know when you write sejarah, you just go on and on and on and, and hopefully something happens that is correct. Okay, chemistry cannot. It's either you got it correct or you got it wrong. So you have to make sure you know how to count. So this is very simple. Correct? Okay. Now, the first thing I want you to take note is this question can ask you two ways. Untuk bahan tindak balas for the reactant how much information is given about the reactants? You have two reactants, right? Apa dua bahan tindak balas? You have two reactants, right? Calcium carbonate and hydrochloric acid. Two reactants. But they only give you information for which one? Calcium carbonate. So, of course, you only calculate calcium carbonate. What if they give you information for two things? Okay, if you tak sempat tulis, don't worry. Uh, after they put up the recording, they will give you the marking scheme. Don't worry about that. Okay? Okay, anybody has a problem for this question so far? No, ah? okay. Sekarang dalam soalan ini, hanya satu, uh, hanya uh, gisim calcium carbonate diberi. You are only given 50 grams of calcium carbonate. What if they give you two information? So, let's look at a question that looks the same but is not the same. Look at question 21. Question 21 is on page, wait, ah, page 14, page 14. Okay, you remember this question, huh? you take a photograph of this question, mental photograph of this question, okay, then you turn to page 14. All right, page 14, question 21. 14, 21. Cikgu, che, soalan objektif saja, ya, okay. Here's the thing about SPM. Soalan objektif pun kena kira. Soalan objektif also got banyak pengiraan and pemikiran. There's a lot of things that go into it. Okay, let's look at question 21. Macam sama saja. Okay, read the question carefully. I give you 30 seconds. Read carefully. Read carefully. What is the difference between this question and the question we just did? Okay. Okay, apa bezanya? Dalam soalan ini, untuk bahan tindak balas, 
Kamu diberi informasi untuk satu ke dua bahan dinam balas. Dua, you are given information on both. So do you need to calculate the amount of moles of both? Yes. Yes. Okay. Do the same thing. Write the equation. Write the equation. Okay, it's the same equation as just now. Exactly the same question. What does this mean? SPM likes this question. <laughs> Alright, so it's the same question. Calcium carbonate, hydrochloric acid, you get calcium chloride, carbon dioxide, and water. Okay, same question. But now, you are given bilangan mole, hydrochloric acid boleh dikira, bilangan mole, calcium carbonate boleh dikira. Okay, do you have to calculate both? Yes. Do it now. Do it now and then it's not as easy as it seems. Do it now. Okay, done, done. Sudah? Bilangan mol untuk calcium carbonate. For calcium carbonate, is same as just now. Jisim bahagi, jisim mola. Jisim mola pun sama dengan tadi, 100. Mass over molar mass, okay? Untuk jisim, uh, untuk uh, bilangan mol hydrochloric acid, acid hydrochloric, you need to use MV over 1,000. Okay, quick, quick. Those who have done, those who are done, who found the amount of moles of this and this, tell me the amount of moles of carbon dioxide. Okay? Okay, now. Okay, bilangan mole, calcium carbonate, amount of moles, 2 over 100. You got that? Yeah, 2 over 100 because they give you 2 grams in the question, right? Yes, uh, 2 grams. So 2 over 100, 0 0.02 mole. Okay, everybody got the first one? Yes, ah. Uh. Okay. Alright, this one MV over 1000. M, they are given in the question 0 0.25. V is 50. Ini semua diberi dalam soalan. Okay, over 1000. You get 0 0.0125. Okay. Sekarang kita ada masalah. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, we have a problem. Okay, what is our problem? Soalan suruh kamu cari isi padu carbon dioxide. The question is asking for the volume of carbon dioxide. In order to find the volume of carbon dioxide, you need to find the mole of carbon dioxide, right? Right? Okay, then we need to find the ratio, nisba. Okay, nisba. So calcium carbonate, 0 0.02. If the ratio is, here no number, right? Here no number, so one. Here, no number, so one, one to one. If this one is 0 0.02, this one is 0 0.02. Tada! Correct. Okay, so then if I find volume, I times 24. 0 0.02 times 24 is 0 0.48 decimeter cube. Ada jawapan tak? Ada. But, but, salah. But if I do this, hydrochloric acid is two, right? Two to one. Nisba 2 kepada 1, 2 to 1. So what is the amount of moles of hydrochloric acid? 0 0.0125. So, 2 to 1, darab ke bahagi? Times or divide? Divide by 2, okay? Divide by 2. So 0 0.0125 uh, divided by 2, okay? And then you, what is it? Uh? 0 0.00625, okay? 
This is the mole, right? Darab 24. You get 0 0.15 decimeter cube. Eh, juga ada jawapan. <gasps> so, only itu jawapan dia A atau C? <laughs> Can I? No. Which one do you follow? Yang besar ke yang kecil? <laughs> Why? The more, the merrier. <laughs> besar. Which one do you follow? Yang besar ke yang kecil? Kecil. Why? Sebab cikgu kata besar salah. <laughs> okay. Think of it this way. Ah. Okay. But, okay. I will explain to you. Explain to you. Ah. But before that, sekiranya soalan beri kamu For, uh, faktor tentang dua, dua bahan tidak balas. If the question gives you information about two things, you need to count both. Just now that question, why don't it? Just now that question, only one. But if they give you two, you need to count two. You cannot say today, I feel like calcium carbonate. Cannot, cannot. Okay, you cannot do that. You have to count both. Okay, so, betul. Pilih yang kecil. You choose the small one. Okay, why like this? Okay, I want to make sandwiches. Okay, I need, okay, you all prefer sandwiches or burger? Burger, okay, let's talk about burgers. Okay, I want to make burgers. Every burger, because Ramli burger is the best, right? Okay, so I want to make burgers. Every burger must have two burger patty, roti, roti burger, two, and one, uh, okay, but, oh sorry, two roti, one burger patty, okay, to make one burger. Correct? Okay, I need two roti, one patty to make one burger. Betul? Nispa saya two to one to one. Okay, so today I tell you, alright, we are running the most successful Ramli burger stall in the whole of Malaysia. Okay, today we have... 200, I only give you one information. Huh? Today we have 200 keping roti. How many burgers can we make? Hayo. <laughs> 100, okay, 100. Because two to one, two to one, okay? So, I only give you one information. Huh? Okay, if today, I say today we have 1,000 burger patties. How many burgers can we make? 1,000, okay. This is with one information. Today, talk about burger, very hungry. Eh? Okay, today, I have prepared 10,000, wow, business is so good, 10,000 keping roti. But I only have one burger patty. How many burger? One. one. Guna yang kecil ke yang besar? Kecil. Why? Ah? Because your bahan finish lah. Finish lah. After that one finish then, the rest, 9,998. Nothing lah. Burger kosong lah. <laughs> Alright, so, jawapan dia ialah sebab bahan tindak balas sudah habis digunakan. The reactant is finished. The reactant is finished. So, siapa habis dulu? Siapa, siapa, siapa lebih? Siapa lebih? Calcium carbonate or hydrochloric acid? Which one is more? Calcium carbonate. What is the scientific word for more? Come on. Excess, very good. Ting, 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 ting. You get extra 10,000 points. Okay. Excess. If the question asks you, which one is in excess? Because... Hydrochloric acid akan habis dulu. Okay? Now, if you don't know this, cikgu, are you very, very pening lah? What burger? This one, all I don't understand. I don't eat burger. I only, I only eat salad. I cannot understand. Okay, no, no mind, never mind. What you do is, you count both. If you really cannot understand, you count both and you choose the one that is less. Always use the smaller value. Got it? Can? Can. Okay, so... Okay, so what is my answer? A. <laughs> you could have just told me A, right? So much questions you ask me, talk about burger, everything. Okay, but the answer is A. Do you understand why? 
Okay. Jika so, okay, ini soalan objektif, salah tak apa, satu maka saja. Sekiranya soalan struktur, then how? Jika soalan lima maka macam tadi, then how? Lima maka, bye-bye. Correct or not? Okay, so you have to make sure persamaan kimia mesti betul, nisbah mesti betul, pengiraan mesti betul. Okay, we do one more question on calculation. Okay, we do one more question on calculation and we'll come back to calculation if we have more time. Okay, the rest is theory. The rest is a lot of theory. We'll come back to that calculation if we have more time. But I want to go through some of the important theory factors also. Okay, uh, look at, not this one, wait, uh, question 20. Okay. Question 20. All right. You don't know what formula to use. There's only three formula. MV over 1000, mass over molar mass, volume over molar volume. Okay. Okay, I'll give you 30 seconds. Read the question. Okay, what is the first thing you do? Okay, uh, read the question. <laughs> yes, very good. Read the question. Okay, first thing you do is read the question. Any other persamaan kimia tak? No, we, we, we chill a bit. Okay, this one got no equation. Where got equation? Sodium chloride is dissolved in water. X gram natrium chlorida dilarutkan ke dalam 300 centimeter padu air suling. Okay, there is no question. But you look at the information given. Three, oui. 300 centimeter cube, this is volume, isi padu. Okay, so this is V. 0 0.05, this one is M, molarity. So what do you do? MV over 1000 lah, duh. what else can you do? Okay, so MV over 1000. So M, 0 0.005, V is 300 over 1000. Okay. Calculation in chemistry is much, much easier than at math. This one got no log, no statistics, no nothing. Just times, plus, minus, divide. Just press calculator ni. Handphone calculator also can. Okay, did you get this? Did you get this? Yeah? Okay. So the question is asking you, uh, berapakah X? So you're looking for mass. Jisim. Kamu sedang cari jisim. Uh, mola untuk sodium chloride, yes. The, the mola is for sodium chloride, yes. It's, it's, it's after. Yang 0.005 ialah selepas sudah buat uh, larutan. Okay? Uh, Syamila, does that answer your question? Okay? All right, so now... Yes, yes, sama dengan air suling. V sama dengan air suling sebab, okay, this is what they did, this is what they did. Mereka campurkan X gram natrium chlorida dalam 300 centimeter cube, 300 centimeter padu air suling. Selepas itu, dia dapat 0.005. Okay, can? Okay, does that answer your question, Shamila? Okay, if you are Shamila in the audience, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking about the one online, okay? <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. All right, so, now you have mole. What formula do you use now? Mass over? Molar mass. So, moles equals mass over molar mass. 
Okay, so moles is what you have, 0 0.015, and then, so moles 0 0.0015. Mass is what you're looking for, X. Molar mass, you just have to add this together. Okay, can 58.5. Correct? Okay. If you cannot find X, I cannot help you. <laughs> Can find X, just press calculator and find X. Okay, can? Don't do like the student, the student I saw on uh, some, in, uh, some meme. Find X, ah, there X is here, X. <laughs> okay, so what's your answer? B. Okay, do you understand? Boleh? Yeah. Formula penting. <laughs> Did you get it correct? Yes. yes, okay. I hope so. Okay. Let's move on from calculation. Some of you might be thinking, teacher just now admits uh, two and a half hours, so do I count now? Can you not count? Okay, we don't count, okay? We talk about chemical bonds. Okay? <laughs> okay, I love you too. Okay, okay. Yes, okay. Must show compassion. Okay, my daughter will do that. I'm having class. My daughter is, uh, my youngest daughter is eight years old. I'm having class, she will pass by my class and do this. Yeah, okay, yeah. Because my teenagers refuse to do that anymore. My 13 and 14 years old, I love you, sure. Okay, hi mommy. Yeah. Okay, so you have, okay. What's the kesimpulan from the first 45 minutes? Mesti hafal formula. You have to memorize the formula. And you must use the correct formula in the correct place. Okay? Can? All right. Now, let's look at something non-calculation connected. Cikgu, bab mana keluar? Setiap bab keluar satu soalan lah, Din. Correct or not? There's no such thing as bab mana boleh focus. There's no such thing. Hey, your textbook very thin leh. Your form four like that and your form five like that. How to, how, what else can you do? Okay. If you do all the questions in your textbook, if you do all the questions in your textbook and you do five years of past year paper and you correct it properly and you watch all the videos, minimum you can get B lah, minimum lah. Okay, I always say this. It might not be a very nice thing, but I always say this, nobody is that stupid, really. If you do your entire textbook, you really do the questions, you do five year past your paper, just do five years. You watch videos and do questions, minimum B. In fact, I'm surprised if you don't get an A. Okay, all right, let's do Ikatan Kimia. Look at, Page nine. Oh. Yes, negeri. yes, very important. There's a person who asked, uh, Shamila, okay. Soalan negeri, cikgu, that means uh, I have to drive all the way to Melaka. No, you just have to literally Google Soalan SPM negeri and there's like 300,000 websites that come out with marking scheme. Please do them as well, okay? Teacher, my parents don't want to drive me to the bookshop to buy books, no need. You got your phone enough, okay? You have your phone. Don't watch YouTube for one month, just download all the questions. Okay? All right, let's look at this. Ikatan Kimia. Okay, dulu, dulu hanya ada ikatan ionic dan ikatan covalent. Sekarang, you all should already upgraded. Okay? Ikatan hydrogen, ikatan dative, ikatan uh, logam. Okay? You all are a bit upgraded. Dulu tak ada ni tiga. So because of that, 99% of the question, they will only ask you ikatan ionic, ikatan covalent. They will only ask you these two. Okay? Now, 
Semua tahu apa itu jadual berkala? Yes. Kena hafal jadual berkala? No. Don't waste your brain space. No need, no need. You just need to know the first 20 elements. First 20 elements. Unsur 20 pertama. Boleh hafal tak? Boleh. Very good. Okay. Now, the first 20 elements, that's enough. And then, kamu mesti tahu gunakan kumpulan dan uh, groups and periods. Okay. Now, Kumpulan satu, kumpulan dua, kumpulan tiga belas is logam. Mesti, mesti, mesti logam. Untuk logam, hanya, hanya, hanya boleh guna ikatan ionik. Dengan bukan logam. So, ionic bond is metal and non-metal. Okay, so, group one, group two, group thirteen. Valency electron is berapa elektron dalam petala tiga. Terluar. You know that right? Okay. So group 1, 1 valency electron. Group 2, 2. Group 3, 3. Group 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 or 2 and hydrogen is 1. Do you all know that? Yes. Huh? Okay. But that is valency electron. Electron valency. What about the word valency? What about the word valency? Valency means how many electrons it needs to gain, release or share to have full outer shell. How many electrons it should gain, release or share? So, group one, release one. Group one, forever, ever, ever, positive one. Okay, group two, release two. Group three, release three. Group four, doesn't release. It shares four. Group five, receives or shares three. Group sixteen, receives or shares two. Group seventeen, receives or shares one. Group 18 receives or shares zero. Hydrogen is one. So that's why let's look at uh, group 15. If you have nitrogen, nitrogen is two five. It will form nitrite three negative. That is for ionic. If it forms covalent, it will also form three bonds. The magic number is three. So valency is how many electrons it will gain, lose or share to achieve full outer shell. Berapa elektron dia perlukan? Okay, now. Kumpulan 1, 2, 3, <tik> hanya, 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 hanya ionic. Kumpulan 14, hanya covalent. 15, 16, 17 is ionic or covalent. 18 is nothing. Hydrogen is covalent. Okay? All right. Now, let's look at this. Logam. And bukan logam. Okay, now, all the metals in the world live in metal land. All the non-metals in the world live in non-metal land. But all of them want to achieve full outer shell because full outer shell is stable. So they want to go to Full outer shell land. Okay. Now, sodium, 281. Potassium, 2881. Magnesium, 282. Sodium, really, 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 really wants to go to full outer shell land, but cannot because it has one valence electron. Valence electron, can I just throw away? Cannot. I must give somebody. So it asks its friend. Please, 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 please. Can you take no? Can you take no? So sodium very sad. Leaves full outer shell end. I leaves metal end. Non metal chlorine two eight seven. Fluorine two seven. Nitrogen two five. 
chlorine has one more electron. It needs one more electron, 287. It asks its friends, please, can you give me one? They all say no. So chlorine also very sad. So chlorine says, please, 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 can I have one electron? Sodium, please, 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 can I give away? Okay. Can. I give you one, I become two, eight. But now I am positive one. You take one, you also become full outer shell. Two, eight, eight. You also become negative one. We are happy. We both hold hands and we go inside full outer shell and ding, ding, ding. But when they go there, they cannot separate. Why? They have fallen in love. Yeah. What is their love call? No, no. Ionic. ionic. What is the name of the ionic bond? Love. No, 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 no. Electro? Electrostatic forces of attraction. Remember, when it's positive and negative, you always use the term electrostatic forces of attraction. If the question asks you in exam, Bagaimanaka sodium chlorida dibento, can you draw this beautiful picture and say, no, because this one not Korean drama, cannot. No matter how touching this story sounds like, cannot. Okay, so what happens is you have to explain, but you must know what happens. Sodium has the electron arrangement of 281. In order to achieve a stable octet electron arrangement, it releases one electron to become an A+. Three marks. Chlorine has the electron arrangement of 287. In order to achieve full outer octet electron arrangement that is stable, it receives one electron to become 288Cl negative. Sodium ion, chloride ion are attracted to each other, not because of love, because of electrostatic forces of attraction and become sodium chloride. It mark essay. That's it. Don't need to go and crack your head. As long as it's metal and non-metal, it does this. Okay? Can? All right. Now, what about non-metal and non-metal? Non-metal and non-metal is like this. I want one. I also want one. You give me. No, I give you. No. Then they hold hands. I got two. I also got two and they're happy. They're not very smart. Okay? Just like that. As long as they achieve full outer shell. Can. Okay. That is the easy one. Covalent and ionic. What is this hydrogen bond? Hydrogen bond, you only need to know one, water molecules. You only need to know one, water molecules. Semua lukis molecule air sekarang. Everybody draw a water molecule. I give you clue. Water has hydrogen and oxygen. The formula is H2O. Water, one electron only. Oxygen is two, six. Draw. Everybody draw. Try it. Okay, there's a question online. When do you use MV over 1000? MV over 1000 untuk so, uh, larutan aqueous, acid, alkali, and uh, salt solution, larutan garam. Mass over molar mass, jisim over jisim molar, hanya apabila soalan bagi kamu dalam gram, dalam unit gram, 5 gram, 2 gram. Okay? All right, sudah lukis? Sudah. Okay, now. So, two, eight, uh, six, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then hydrogen, like that. Okay, now, molecule IA, molecule IA, uh, 
if hydrogen is 1 and oxygen is 16, apakah GC molar molecule air? What is the molar mass of water? Water, water. 18, very good. Okay, 18. Now, oxygen gas is O2. What is the GC molar for oxygen gas? 32. Because 16 times 2 is 32. Okay. Now, I want you to think logic. Siapa lebih berat? Oxygen ke air? Oxygen. Oxygen is heavier than water. But although oxygen is heavier, which one is liquid? Oxygen or water? Why? It doesn't make sense. Water is the only substance that has such a small molar mass, but it's not a gas. If all water was gas, what happens to us? Die. We are not even die. We are not, never even made. Right now, we will die if all water is gas. How come water is so special? Because water has ikatan hydrogen. Water has ikatan hydrogen. So you look at this. Uh, electron, what is the charge of electron? Negative. So this one, this one, although water is neutral, bahagian molecule di sini sedikit negative. There is a little bit of a negative charge. It is not neutral. It's like my whole body is neutral, but here is negative. My brain is negative or something like that. Okay. So it's more negative. So when you have another molecule IA, H2O, they will have hydrogen bond like that. Sebab bahagian hydrogen sedikit positif, bahagian elektron sedikit negatif. It's not a real bond. Ah. Bukan ikatan yang boleh nampak, tapi ikatan hydrogen is something like magnet. Can you imagine? It's something like magnet, so it holds it together. Can? Got it? So that is ikatan hydrogen. Ikatan hydrogen, berapa... Um, uh, how many examples do you need to remember? One, water. You can remember one, I'm very proud of you already, water. Okay, can? All right. The last one, dative, uh, second last, dative. What is dative? It is the bond when you go dating. <laughs> no. Okay. Hydrogen atom is one electron. Hydrogen atom is one electron, correct? So hydrogen ion is how many electron? Ding, 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 ding. Ha, zero. Hydrogen atom got one electron. To become ion, they lose the one electron. No more. Lah, so zero. So hydrogen ion is free. Technically free. Lah. Free. But it looks at water. It's like you got no money. You got no money. But you want to go KFC. Your friend got three voucher. Can give me one. Ah. Can give me one. Ah. Okay. Lah. So... This hydrogen ion go and tumpang. Tumpang other people's electron. I got no electron, namai, namai, I give you. That's dative bond. Ikatan yang dibuat daripada pasangan elektron yang bebas. Free pair of electron, the electron that nobody is using. Got it? Can? So there's only two examples. One is this. Selepas hydrogen ion campur dengan air, what is this called? Hydroxonium, very good. This is acid lah, hydroxonium ion. Okay, can? So you only need to remember two examples. This one, okay. Challenge number two. Everybody draw ammonia. Cepat, 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 ammonia. Nitrogen is two, five. Hydrogen is one. Quick, quick, quick. Everyone draw ammonia. Faster, faster. You don't know you draw a picture of a house. Look busy. Because everyone is drawing. If you look like you don't know what to do, you're very stressed. So if you don't know what to draw, draw a picture of your house, draw a picture of your girlfriend, draw a picture of something. Okay? Quick, 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 quick. Ammonia, ammonia, ammonia. You either draw ammonia or tree. <laughs> or the ocean. 
Or you can draw all the kaka abang here sitting down here. You can draw their pictures again. Yeah? Towards the towards the nitrogen. But you don't need to draw arrow. No need to draw arrow. Just draw ammonia, that's all. Just the molecule of ammonia. So, done, done. Everyone done? Yes, uh, okay, good. Okay, molecule ammonia. Nitrogen, two, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hydrogen, one, two, three, like that. Okay. So now, this is ammonia, right? Is ammonia neutral? Yes. I'm not asking you whether it's acid, alkali, that kind of neutral. I mean, is it positive or negative? No, it's neutral. Okay. Other, do, does ammonia have free tickets? Yes. There. You got free ticket there. So who is going to champo? Only the, only the hydrogen ion is your useless friend. The friend that always go out, never bring money. Ah, always ask for coupon. That's hydrogen ion. Okay? So you can start calling your friends who don't pay hydrogen ion. So this is hydrogen ion. I got no money, but I still want to go KFC. Got it? So now this whole thing becomes NH4 positive one. What is it known as? Ammonium, ah, you're not ammonia, ammonium. Ammonium ion, not the same. Ah. Ammonia and ammonium is not the same. Okay, so there's only two examples. Hanya dua contoh kamu perlu hafal untuk ikatan dativ. Hydroxonium ion and ammonium ion. Okay, can? Metallic bond, we get to that later. Wait first. All right. Everybody turn to page 10. Okay. And look at question 14, 1 4. Okay, we do this. Then we do one more question. Then I'll give you a five minute break. Okay. All right, we do this. We do one more question. I'll give you a five minute break. Everyone go outside, jump, 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 come back inside. Okay. All right. Do question 14. Read the question carefully. Open eyes, big, big. Okay. Ready? Read already or not? Guys, read to yourself, read to yourself. Your friend knows how to read, that's why they're taking SPM. Many, many years ago, in one of our seminar, there was this girl who's very, very stressed. And there were two people sitting behind them. Be behind her, she was very, very stressed, okay? So there were two people sitting behind her and were talking throughout the whole seminar. And she literally turned around away, can you all shut up? And then we were all like, okay. So if you're very, very stressed, please go walk outside and come back in first, okay? All right, so that about you? Okay, what's your answer? A, B, C, D, which one? I see, uh, donkey, hmm, okay. Now, let's see, correct. So you must read the question carefully. Uh. Read the question carefully. Raja Ampak menunjukkan susunan elektron sebatian ammonium klorida. Antara berikut men manakah menunjukkan ikatan ion. They're asking for the ionic bond. Ionic bond is between the positive and negative. So it's D. The answer is D. Okay. If they are asking you covalent, which is the bond? Covalent is which one? A or B is covalent. If they are asking you Ikatan dative, which one is it? C, correct. Cikgu, how you know the difference A and B is covalent, C is dative? Can see or not, why? Sh uh, can see or not? Wait, I show you, uh, I make it bigger. I make big, big, wait. This one, this one is covalent. This one is covalent because one hydrogen is from, uh, one electron is from hydrogen, one electron is from nitrogen. Can you see that? Uh, this one is Kong Si. This one is not the useless friend. This one is the friend that bring the own money. Okay? This one also, 
I want money, you want 10 ringgit, I 10 ringgit like that. Okay, but this one is dative because this is the useless friend. Both also I give, I, I both also I pay, always I pay. Hydrogen didn't pay. Uh, so if they ask you dative, if they ask you dative, it is C. If they ask you ionic, it is D. If they ask you covalent, it is A or B. Got it? So in one question, in this one question, boleh tanya empat benda yang, uh, tiga benda yang tak sama. All right, Ken, you get it? Okay, we do one last part, then I give you a five minutes. Uh, metallic bond, what is metallic bond? Actually, metallic bond is like this. Semua pelajar tak faham metallic bond because uh, it's something new. Okay. Metallic bond is not the metal and somebody else. Metallic bond is within itself. When you were in uh, form one, form two, form three, you learn ini zara, particle, particle round, round, round like this. If this is iron, inside is iron atom, Fe. But in reality, can metal conduct electricity? Can. In solid, yes? Yes. Ionic compound can conduct electricity only in aqueous or molten because ionic has ions. But when it's solid, it's like a car that is not moving. I got car, your car can move or not, no? <laughs> can you bring me to one you? I got car, you got car? Yes, I got car. Can your car move? No. Then what's the point? So, ionic compound, when it's solid, the ions are not moving. When it's molten, leboran atau aqueous, then the ions are freely moving. So, it can conduct electricity because they are free moving ions. Free moving ions. Logam is free moving electrons. Kenapa logam ada elektron bebas? Sebab dalam setiap satu logam, elektron di petala terluar. The electrons on the outermost shell decide to go jalan-jalan. So every single atom releases the electron. It doesn't release the electron to somebody else. It's just that the electrons are moving around inside. Because the electrons are moving, this one all are no longer atoms. They are all ions. So if they ask you, how come metal can conduct electricity is free moving electrons? How come ionic is free moving ions? So a metal is all the same metal ion with all electrons. The metal ion is positive or negative? Positive. The electron is positive or negative? Negative. So what is it that holds them together? Logam keras tak keras? Takat lebo tinggi tak? Yes. High melting point. Why? What is the name of the bond? Metallic bond. Yes. What's the name? Electrostatic because it is positive and negative. Okay. It's positive and negative. So logam is also electrostatic. Okay. The first person to answer me this question can go out for a five minute break. Come on. Number 13. <laughs> B. Very good. Okay, these are electrons. These are electrons. Okay? All right, go, go, go. Five minute, five minute.